Cool. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode. First time recycling. Got myself Hero. Not Alvin. Alvin. Superstars of the show. Superstars of the show. So today we are going to remove that rear rim on Alvin's e bike. Yep. And uh, install an old tube liner for the inside of the rim. Yep. So, so the main thing, main reason is I pretty much bought a second rim to be able to have a street tire on there versus the knobby so I'm not wearing down knobby tires for the street, and, yeah. yeah for the street and so when we bought this rim I didn't pay attention um, that there was no rim liner where the spokes go so when we we're riding on our last yeah, ride yeah on our last ride to Six Flags Alvin got a flat Woo -hoo! damn road tire so we ended up getting a flat because it went through the, went through the sharp sharp opening yeah, of the, the yeah. spokes yeah and I was like what so yeah, we figured we'll try to we'll try to be cheap. We'll try to use some rubber. Um, yeah, I was almost thinking of just maybe even leaving it dual layer, maybe cutting it in half. But you can kind of see this this tube has cracks and everything in it, so it's an old tube. Um, but yeah, yeah, let's try it. We're gonna do this the inexpensive way without having to buy uh, rim tape. Yep. And see if it works. And if it if it holds up, then yeah. So as you guys can see here, there is no rim liner. And I think the one that cut it was right next to the yeah, it was right next to the uh, inlet. So that was like a, I think this one right there. You can kind of feel the sharpness on these two. Yeah. So everything else kind of seemed round, but um, unfortunately, they cut a tire. So oh. we're, we're going to try to be putting some rubber in there, which will be this Kindle tire is still good. So I made that other over there and will be this guy and we will cut this guy in half and you guys are like why cut it in half no <laughs> but that is okay we'll test it out we'll see what's gonna what's gonna happen here guys Ooh. should definitely uh hey not bad i'm gonna rotate towards you yep towards Yep. I think this is a good size cut too. Okay, I'm holding. I'm holding it. So we can cut. So we have about. We just need maybe uh, two inches of overlap. So right there. Right here, where my thumb is. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was just pretty much quick. Pushed it right in. We did a double fold. We cut the edge of the tube in half, or cut the extra half off to make it a little thinner. Like right a single around layer. Here. Yep. Um, where is actually okay, the tube? Oh, we also got to make the hole for yeah, the. Yeah, um, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, for the for the. Yep, it's right here. But we'll um, pretty much spray some glue right in here, onto here, and pretty much pull it a little tight and that'll hold. I wonder after we glue it, then we could just drill a hole yeah, so through the rubber? Okay. okay. And then we should be good. All right. But yeah, let's uh, spray some glue on there. All right. But yeah, it fits pretty well. Not too bad for a rookie. All right, guys. So the adhesive that I used was uh, made by 3M. Um, it's a multi-purpose adhesive. It's supposed to work on pretty much rubber, um, pretty much anything. <laughs> Not anything, but I usually use it for interior. Um, but it is, again, like I was saying here, foil, foam, paper, metal, plastic, fabrics, cardboard, and insulation. So this will do very good here. Um, if you don't have something like this um, and you have, say, like uh, spare tire uh, rubber cement, um, or not spare tire, rubber cement, but whole, uh, you know, if patch. you get a whole patch, yeah, there you go, a patch for your rubber tires. Um, you can usually put that on there and then heat it up and glue it together that way as well. But um, yeah, that was pretty much easy, peasy. And all we have to do now is uh, drill a hole. Drill a hole for 
the valve. For the stem. valve, yep. So this looks good, guys. I am super excited. Nice. To... No more blowouts Hopefully. due to high pr air pressure. No way, no way, dude. All right, guys, so I just cut a little a little tiny hole uh, since uh, pretty much all we use are press the valves. Um, if you are using a bigger valve, obviously you'll have to you know, cut your hole a little bigger. A hole punch probably would be better to actually just make the hole. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have a hole punch, so it is what it is. But I am excited to pretty much try this out yeah. so I don't even have to worry. It looks pro. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it looks pro. Totally. <laughs> All right, tires on. Just checking to make sure that the bead is set. And then we're going to pump it. All right. All right, that's 65 pounds right there. Oh, you know what? Did you, you, you made sure to check to see if there's no spikes on the inside, right? Spike at least. Yeah. I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it looks good. Yep. Super excited. We'll throw it back on the bike here, guys. And um... just, just a little bit of extra reassurance for when we're on our long rides. Yeah. All right, guys, so if you do get a new rim, make sure you purchase a liner for those spokes with them spokes. Or do it our way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it just yeah, it just keeps it uh, simple. But yeah, if you are having issues where your tire is popping on the inside portion of the tire or the stem side of the tire, um, make sure you look at the liner or get a liner if you don't have one. So I, I'd say most uh, low-end bikes usually don't have liners. So like this is a low-end low wheel. Low-end rims. Yeah, yeah, this is like a so. Shimano stock of stock, like from, you know, it has old. A, has a lot of spokes though, considering, so. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully next video we're going to, uh, next maintenance video we're going to, uh, pretty much start looking at the, uh, the dropper post the dropper post, so we can yeah. get that in there so we're very excited about that guys yeah we got the breeze coming in even though it's still a warm day today the breeze is uh, so yeah. nice <laughs> so anyway guys we'll see All you right. next time thank you for watching thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like and um, if you guys haven't seen the buffang video go check that out we'll put that up in the upper right hand corner and we'll also have it in the description yep. um, definitely has helped out this bike a lot and uh, yeah anyway guys alright thanks for watching guys Woo! peace Woo!